Uh, for all of my preparations for doom and gloom, I want good things. I hope for good things. I'm emotionally invested in good things. But I would be a fool to assume good things um, and to not prepare. So, oh, I know what happened. <laughs> you know, it's funny. Dimashio asked a really great question about sustaining through the inauguration, this time or the next time. And I got stuck on Nate Silver. <laughs> so let me pick up and answer the rest of the thought. I I have been thinking a lot about what happens if this president legitimately wins. And I you know joke about building a bunker and hanging out with my raccoon friends. And I might do that. But I think we just have to do more democracy. Regardless, actually. Uh, if Joe Biden and Kamala Harris win and we get a Democratic Senate, I will be happy and I will drink with a different emotion. <laughs> and then I will sleep for like 48 hours straight. And if this president maintains his power legitimately or illegitimately, I mean, if he maintains his power whatever way, we got work to do. We got work to do. And the work becomes even more clear. We have some healing to do. We have some retrenching to do. I look at the past four years in some ways as a big effort to like hold our breath. Are we there yet? Can I come up for air yet? Can I breathe yet? And so many of us are hoping that this election will mark a time where we can come up for some air. But that is a survivalist mentality. It's a scarcity mentality. And I don't think it works for like eight years. <laughs> I think we have to tap into some different energy for that one, which is, okay, how do we thrive amidst this? What gloriously powerful reforms can we push for now that everything is truly out in the open? Where can we withdraw our consent? That's a form of power, too. And Jamila Rakib talks about this beautifully in the current episode of How to Citizen. So really listen to her in that. But there are usurpations that have failed because people just refuse to show up to work. That could be fun. That could be fun. Like a national walkout. I like that. We already got the streaming media accounts and we're used to being at home. So I think there's an opportunity to get creative about not just resistance, but creation, about healing, about common values, and about continuing to press for the things we believe in. I am comforted by the fact that more people believe in liberty and justice for all, in universal health care, in climate science, in a living wage. Like the numbers are in. So, you know, Joe Biden has a beautiful campaign theme that he's fighting for the soul of America. But with respect, to a wonderful person with a deep set of empathy who I think in many ways was designed for this time because he's been through so much loss and whatever happens, many of us have lost so much. With respect to him, I don't think this is a battle for the soul of America. I think it's a battle for the representation of the soul of America in a legitimate political system. Because the data's in and everybody's pretty much agreeing, oh, the soul wants these things. But the Senate doesn't want it. And the Republican packed courts won't allow it. But the will of the people has been pretty clear. So we would have to do some work to align our political system with our values, not the other way around. We don't have to change our values. We have to create a system that lives up to them. And I think I believe that regardless of who wins this election. And that's what I'm holding on to. That's how I'm thinking about how we get to and through November 3rd, to and through January 21st, to and through the next inauguration after that. I gotta believe we're still gonna have inaugurations. Um, and we shall see what we shall see. <laughs> That's what my mom used to say. So I'll leave you on that with the words of my late mother, Arnita Lorraine Thurston. She's right there over my shoulder. How you like my light? You like that purple light? And little pop. I'm, I'm learning from the YouTubers. I'm learning from the YouTubers. Thank you for spending this time with me. I'm going to finish my beverage and uh, eat. Peace, y'all. <laughs>